Hi, I'm Holly, and in this video I'll show you how I created a hanger swirl soap using a wonderful new mold and tool I received from Custom Craft Tools. I'll list my recipe at the end of this video, and you'll find all of the other links and details listed below. I wanted to use one of my favorite color palettes for this soap. It's a palette that I used several years ago to make the pop divider soap you see here. For the two shades of orange, I hydrated both red Brazilian clay and pink kaolin clay with a little distilled water. Just enough water to make the clays fluid and easy to blend into the soap later. For the black color, I mixed activated charcoal with a little olive oil. And lastly, for the blue color, I mixed a little dark indigo powder with olive oil and stirred it well. I let the mixture sit a few hours until most of the powder settled on the bottom. When I use it in soap, I always try to avoid scooping up the powder so I don't end up with any blue specks in the finished soap. Before adding the sodium hydroxide, I first added some salt to the distilled water. This will make the soap a bit easier to remove from the mold later. I stirred until the salt had completely dissolved and then added the sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide is a caustic substance that can burn your skin and permanently damage your eyes, so be sure to learn and practice life safe handling procedures when making soap. Besides protecting your skin and eyes, always work in a well-ventilated room away from children and pets and never stand directly over the container or breathe any of the fumes. Once the sodium hydroxide had dissolved, I set the lye aside to cool. I blended until just reaching an emulsion since I had a lot of mixing to do with the individual colors, and then divided the soap roughly into five portions. 70% for the two orange colors, which were divided evenly, and the remaining 30% for the blue, white, and black swirl colors. I decided to only use a small amount for the black accent color, and the blue and white were divided evenly. In case you'd like to know how that worked out for this batch, which amounted to 8 cups of soap total, I'll list the amounts for each color here.
Before I start the pour, I wanted to show a diagram of how I do the hanger swirl. I start at the top and move in a figure 8 pattern, slowly lowering the hanger tool with each pass until I reach the bottom. Then I made one last swirl through the middle and the top. I did oven process the soap as I normally do to ensure a complete gel so the colors would look brighter and I could remove the soap from the mold a bit sooner. I preheated my oven to its lowest temperature of 170 degrees Fahrenheit and then turned the oven off. I placed the mold in the warm oven and left it overnight. I also left the oven light on for about three hours. I removed the soap from the oven the next morning and left it covered on the counter until the next day. I unmolded and cut the soap about 48 hours after making it. I did get a bit of soda ash on top, but as you see here, I used my steamer to remove it. I was really happy with this new mold and swirling tool. 
Like everything Custom Craft Tools makes, it's made incredibly well. I normally use a gear tie for hanger swirls, but it was really nice to have a firm hanger tool that moved easily through a thicker soap. Thank you so much to Custom Craft Tools for sending me such high quality items to review. This is a cold process soap, so I left the type of lysate to sodium hydroxide, or NaOH. My recipe oil weight was 1300 grams. My lye concentration was set to 36%, which means my lye solution consisted of 36% sodium hydroxide and 64% distilled water. I set the superfat to 5%, and my fragrance usage rate was 45 grams per kilogram. Once you have everything entered, you just select to calculate the recipe, then to view or print it. SoapCalc will give you a really nice listing of all of your ingredients, including the amount of sodium hydroxide required to saponify your oils. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you found something useful here to help you in your soap making.